Good to see you, Tundalisu, and uh, thanks for your time. Uh, quickly here, leader of uh, your country's opposition, Chadema Party, Frida Mumboe, uh, was arrested just hours before he was due to launch a program calling for constitutional reform in Tanzania. Uh, what are your thoughts on this latest development? Mr. Mbowe was not arrested. He was abducted at gunpoint at the dead of the night and driven 1,100 kilometers to Dar es Salaam, where he was held illegally for six days without access to his family, without access to his lawyers, until he was stolen out, surreptitiously taken to court again without his lawyer's knowledge and charged with these fabricated terror charges. They are just that, were complete, completely bogus and fabricated terror charges. Now, you, you, you have said that this uh, development is in the case of an arrest, but an, an abduction. Uh, what's the law in Tanzania uh, about uh, anyone who's been so abducted by anyone but in this case, by the government. The law requires that when a person is arrested, before he is arrested, he must be told the charges that he is uh, being accused of. Mr. Mboy was not told anything other than to be bundled into these uh, 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 police vehicles, uh, blindfolded and, and, and shackled to the Land Rover and driven to Dar es Salaam. He stayed in, in, in police jails for six days without being told why he was being held. And it is only when he was taken before the magistrate uh, in Dar es Salaam, that's when the, these terrorism charges were, were, were read to him. Now, it is the law that before a person is charged with these serious offenses, he must be given uh, a, a you know, the, the reason for his uh, uh, arrest, he must be given uh, the reason for uh, the, the charges that he's being uh, uh, accused of in writing. Now, Mr. Mbowe was denied even copy of the charge sheet. So, so we are dealing here with a police force that has become, it has become a, 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 a predatory police force that is attacking civil liberties, that is being used by the CCM regime, the ruling regime, as its armed wing. It has stopped being a national police force. It is an, a, a, an armed wing of the ruling let, party. Let me, let me quickly come in here, Tundulisu, and uh, it's about rights groups and opposition activists uh, within uh, Tanzania and outside the continent. Uh, they think that... Uh, uh, this very case we're, we're discussing is a case of, uh, well, being intolerant of a, of a dissent voice in Tanzania. Uh, perhaps uh, you would want to say uh, why you think uh, uh, this is happening to your leader. I'm sorry, I, I did not hear the first, question, the first part of your question. Some rights groups and opposition in Tanzania uh, are saying that this means just one thing, that the government of Tanzania is intolerant of dissent voices. And I'm asking, what are those key things uh, that your leader has been saying or doing that would amount to being, uh, you know, uh, a dissent voice in Tanzania? Those who say that the, the, the government of Tanzania is intolerant of dissent are completely right. They are completely correct. What Mr. Mbowe's offense is, is calling for overhaul of our constitutional and political order. That is what he's been working on since the travesty of last year's elections. Mr. Mbowe did not do anything other than to hold internal party gatherings, which are not regulated by law. Internal party meetings are not are not governed by, by any legislation. We are free to hold internal party meetings, and that's what he was uh, uh, doing. He had done for the past two months before his arrest, and uh, after the president declared that the constitutional reform was not part of her, of, of her agenda, 
then the police force, this armed wing of the ruling party, was let, was let loose, as it were. And they started attacking our members who were holding internal party meetings. Mr. Mboe was arrested the night before he was to chair a constitutional uh, reform forum, an internal party gathering. Uh, he did absolutely nothing in accordance with the Tanzanian laws, but we you know, are just, just, with just, an extension just, uh, of a, 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 a moment here, allow me, button. Allow me, button here, uh, to introduce the apologies. And again, just as uh, some Africans are showing concern, the United States uh, is also showing concern over uh, Umboa's arrest and has asked uh, President uh, Hassan to ensure that he's uh, released. Do you think uh, that this would change the dynamics of events uh, unfolding in your country? I think uh, it, it, is, it is very important for not just the, the government of the United States, but uh, our friends and partners all over the world to, to show their commitment to democracy. This attack on democracy, the arrest and charging uh, of the, the, the leader of the, the largest opposition party in the country for doing nothing other than to demand constitutional reform should not go unnoticed and unpunished. So it is my call that uh, those, of, those who call us our, their friends and our development partners should show it by deeds at this time. They should stand on the side of democracy. They should not allow this dictatorship to run roughshod over our democratic rights. And uh, since you are asking, I'm traveling this, uh, uh, this week to the United States, and from next week on, I'll be making the case to the American American government and, 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 and their elected representatives that it is time, it is time to stand on the side of democracy. It is time not just to, to speak out, it is time to act. The United States should use the Global Magnitsky Act to, to punish those who are terrorizing our people in Tanzania and making sure that they are not welcome anywhere outside the country. Many thanks uh, for speaking with us, uh, lawyer and member of the opposition, Tanzania Chademe Party, Tundulisu.